Joined now by Yvonne Cobb, one of her favourite winter warmers. Uh, we've got Claire here signing for you at home and Pascal in the studio signing for us. So, good morning. I'm going to give this a go. What are you cooking? <laughs> well, Did I do it? Done. Great. Perfect. So, yes, what Thank am I you. cooking? Firstly, it's lovely to be back. Great to have you back. And last time I was here, you know, we made international global deaf news. Oh, so um, thank you good. so much for that oh, opportunity. You're very well. One thing I did want to say is because people who didn't see last time and don't understand is that if we want to get your attention, it's actually polite for us to get, Absolutely. <laughs> get your yes, attention. Yes, please do. Yeah. Because otherwise my eyes are all over the place. So, yeah, if you need to get my attention, do so visually. Thank you. I'm going to be making delicious soup. It's immunity boosting. It's delicious and also it's served with a flatbread, which I know lots of people are put off by because they think it's difficult, but I cannot God, assure you. Honestly, it's delicious, but it's so easy to make. Beautiful. Got it already. Dunked in. I'm going to give it a go. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, when you're making mm, soup, not me. always make a paste well in advance. This is the secret to a great tasting soup. So you can add the spices as you go, but honestly, sometimes it brings out the sharpness. If you make a nice paste in advance, you can keep it in the fridge for two weeks. Right, so that's I'm it. using that was my these question. ingredients. So you can, yeah. you, once you've made that, you've got, you, can, you can store that for a while. Can you freeze it and store it for much later? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, you can. And it just makes it, I mean, it's initially when you're making it, but then you can utilise it, you can freeze it. So I've got all different kinds of herbs and spices. I've got cumin, I've got coriander, I've got cayenne pepper, I've got ginger, I've got shallot onions. And I'm frying up with some coconut oil. Mm. So this delicious flavour and this really complements the paste that I've already made. Mm. I've got brown onion in here already with some chilli, and they're caramelising at the moment, so they've turned a beautiful brown colour. That is so lovely. That is so delicious. Mm. Oh, is it? Mm. Oh, good. It's, it's genuinely really, really it's nice. warm and it's a comforting taste, isn't it? These are the lentils, dried lentils. And they're nice orange colour, so this is the beta-carotene. Yeah. Again, great for antioxidants, to keep you nice and healthy through winter. Mm. And you could use green lentils as well. You could substitute in different colour lentils if you wanted to. But again, just check whether you're, they're, they're dried, whether they're canned lentils, they're, they're pre-cooked. Then sweet potato. Sweet. Sweet. Potato. As though so you're peeling the potato, you're holding it and peeling with sweet it. Sweet so potato. Sign potato. That's like dimples. Sweet. But yeah, sweet. like sweet, sweet. Like dimples, absolutely. Potato. OK. okay. So mix the sweet potato in with the lentils and the onions just for a few minutes. Just make sure they're well coated, well mixed in. But it literally makes it takes 10 minutes to do this. Mm -hmm. And I've got vegetable sock. I've used bouillon. It's got a nice salty flavour to the stock. Don't put too much in, you only need a couple of teaspoons. In with the water, pour it in nice and gently. And then later on, if it gets a bit too thick in consistency, you can add some more water on its own or you could make up some more stock. It's got just the right heat for me. It's got that lovely warmth that is, it just sort of gives you a little bit of a zing, but it's not too like, whew. Good, good. And in fact, recently, somebody told me when they had this soup, the person said that wow. if it was their last supper, this would be the recipe that, that they'd go for. <laughs> really? Wow, that's praise. <laughs> that that really is praise indeed. Praise indeed. <laughs> high praise. And coconut milk. Use the full fat variety because you want it nice and creamy. And then leave it for at least half an hour. And then you can see it's a nice, thick consistency and you can blitz it, you can puree it. If you don't have a blender, a food processor, you can use a hand blender just to blitz it and then ready to serve. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to oh, the yeah. flat bread. Yep. Flat I thought these bread. would be oh. really hard. Oh, oh no, well, if you want to practise a sign. Doran, dump in my bread. Because of the shape. Flat, flat bread. What? Which nice one? and easy to make bread, yes. as though you're slicing bread. 
So you could have a bread roll, you'd have a baguette. So that changes the way you're signing. So it's visually motivated signs. I mean, you, that, that's the good way, that's, you can remember those because it is so visual, what you're saying. Absolutely. And there are so mm. many visual expressions in sign language. Oh, in fact, one thing I wanted to say, in BSL, there are lots of ways to express and use different phrases and expressions. So in English, you might say cool as a cucumber. Yeah. So this is a sign for cucumber. But actually, that doesn't quite make sense. It's a kind of, it's an idiom. So in sign language, we'd probably do this, like if Phil is cool as a cucumber, Phil is very laid back. Always. So to be cool as a cucumber Always. in sign language. <laughs> so that one sign would and put that's that it. whole English expression. Mm. So yeah, it's a very beautiful, immersive language. So I always encourage people to learn it. But yeah, if, you, if you were in a room with people who were not as cool as a cucumber, and, uh, and who, do, who the hell do you point to? Who do you point to? <laughs> Isn't that a bit obvious, saying, like, none of you are cool as a cucumber, so I can't point to you? <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so this is just four ingredients for the flatbread. Yeah. So honestly, and if you don't, and you just pop them all in the bowl, so it's plain flour, Greek yogurt, baking powder, a teaspoon of that, and a pinch of salt. Just four ingredients mixed together. And you make it into a dough. Mm -hmm. And then with this amount of dough, you could cut that into eight sections and you'd make eight flatbreads. And it's full of calcium because of the Greek yogurt. That's very easy, isn't it? It is super easy. And then flatten it out, roll it out. And then pop it onto a griddle pan. That is so, that is so easy. easier than I thought it was mm. going to be. And Absolutely. is there oil in there? A little bit. A little bit of oil in there. And then Heat it up and then just flip it over. A couple of minutes per side. Good. And you can make them a bit thicker, depending on your preference. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want a kind of more squidgy. doughy flatbread, then you absolutely can. This is a definite family favourite for us. And when I teach in the cookery school as well, I'm always introducing flatbread. I think it's a really nice, confident food. Yeah. And it's nice and cheap to make as well. Yeah. 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 Serve up time. Do you know what I really love? There you go. All the toppings that you've put on here. That's, like, delicious. It looks good, doesn't it? So for this, I've gone with lime mm -hmm. on avocado. Mm. It helps be nice and filling. Also, we've got nigella mm. seeds dressing on the top. I put spring onion. Onion, the sign for onion is because sometimes you chop onion oh, and yeah. you cry. Mm. Made you cry. Mm. And then cashew nuts as well, again, for protein. Did you roast the cashews? I've roasted them, these before, yeah, so yeah. dry fried. Mm. Both the nigella okay. seeds yeah. and the cashews. And then the lime as well gives a nice kind of bit of zest and acidity as well mm. with the soup. So we had onion, we onion. had uh, flat bread, potato. we had sweet, sweet potato. potato. And cool as a cucumber. Oh, thank you very Amazing. much. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank and you. hopefully, um, the more we do this, the less it will need to make global deaf news because it will just be the way it's done. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, indeed. Lovely Thank to you, see you so much. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Uh,